Hello, it is Wednesday and I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while so I thought I would vlog today. I'm meeting up with Poppy and we're actually going to catch the train to Lewis today which is a really cute little like, is it a town? Is it? I guess it's a town I think and it's kind of near Brighton but a little bit more out so we're gonna do that. I've been having like a mammoth clear up of the house although I mean I've been trying to so I've got like piles of clothes that I need to put away which I'm gonna do when I get back. There there's one but I just thought I would quickly show you my outfit. I need to tidy all this up too this is like all my makeup and like the remnants of me getting ready this morning. I have this cardigan which is my new love I absolutely love it I've like rolled up the sleeves and it's by Lazy Oaf now <laughs> I'm gonna struggle to show you this bit. Can you see it now? Yay! Okay, that's way easier. It says, love me not on it, and it has like a really cute little flower with a face, and I love it. And then my T-shirt, where is it? Hmm, does it have it up there? Oh no, it's down there. It's just a stripy one that says, you break it, you pay for it which is like a Valentine's t-shirt that I really like. And I think it has, oh yeah, there's the heart. And it has a heart here as well. I'm kind of channeling a Valentine's themed outfit, I feel like. Um, and then I've just got my Joni Topshop jeans with ripped knees, which are very ripped. They seem to get more and more ripped, like the more I wear them. Oh, and also on my lips, I've actually got like the biggest cold sore on my lip. So attractive. On my lips, I am wearing the Bare Minerals Matte Lip Stick in Boss. Bossy. Which I really, really like. So yeah, already got my Zara coat on and I also have these boots. Let me show you them like this. Are actually from River Island on ASOS. I kind of love them. I haven't worn them anywhere yet. They're quite high. I'm wondering if I can drive in them. <laughs> I need my car keys. That would be good. Do you think I've got enough car keys? <laughs> it drives Alfie crazy. He's like, why do you have so many things on your keys? I'm like, you need all the keys in one place because otherwise you lose them. Okay, I've stolen Alfie's like car tripod. If you're wondering where Alfie and Sean are today, they're actually building a van. They're doing something with a van. I feel like I haven't driven my Mini in so long. I love it. The amount of people I speak to like, yeah, but when are you gonna buy like a speedy, like cool car? I'm like, I love my car. True story, I haven't been in a train or on a train, in a train, on a train since January, 2015 which I think it was January 2015. It was when I had long hair, I remember that. That's how long ago it was. Basically, transport and trains in general are one of the things I find a little harder in terms of my anxiety. So, on my list of news resolutions, I had going on a train. I don't live far from Lewis. I could drive to Lewis, but I want to get the train to Lewis. Like, I want to do it. And I'm actually really excited about it, which goes to show how far I've come since two years ago. Um, because I'm not nervous. I'm excited to get on the train. And I know I can do it. You know, it's a train. It's fine. Nothing's gonna happen. But it's just one of those things that I was like, I just need to do it. Why haven't I done it? So, I'm doing it. If you have things that you find a little more difficult in terms of like your anxiety or anything else that kind of stops you from wanting to do things, like just the fear holds you back, you can't let it because then two years has gone past and you haven't been on a train and it could potentially be a lot harder for you to then get back on that train because of the fear or because of what you've built in your mind. So you just kind of have to like rip off the plaster and just keep doing it. Like I wish I had tried to do this sooner, but I at least now that I'm doing it, I know I'm in a really good place to do it, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's a, that's a thing. 
I don't know, I'm excited. And I never thought, like, if you'd have asked me two years ago to do a train journey, I would have been absolutely terrified. But I'm actually on my way to pick up Poppy, to get on a train, and I'm excited. And I hope that that gives some of you the motivation because if I can do this, then you can do this. And it might take time, it might take work, it might take practice, but you can do it. Whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. I'm saying all this, and I haven't got on the train yet, <laughs> but I'm not nervous about it or anything. So yeah, exciting times. Oh, I'm behind a learner and I'm giving it lots of space because I remember when I learned to drive and the amount of people that would drive up my ass and make me feel so like nervous to be driving and I'm, I'm never one of those people I give learners the space the time I don't beat them because I know I would have really appreciated that when I was learning to drive good luck good luck learner you'll be fine I am going to vlog a lot this year and I know it's February already I mean it's only February <laughs> um but I am going to be vlogging more this year I just I need to like get over the whole like it needs to be an interesting day thing because personally I love vlogs where I watch people fold their laundry I watch time lapses of them tidying their offices or bedrooms I love people's like day-to-day -day living and I think that some people have this perception of my life like it's always really entertaining and interesting and like I do all this like fun stuff but there are certainly days where I really don't do that much and actually those are the days I like to watch. Why is he flashing? Is he flashing me? I don't know. Um, those are the days I really like to watch so I guess it's just knowing when to pick up my camera because sometimes it gets to like the end of the day and I'm like ah oh, today would have been a really good day to vlog and I just haven't. Um, so I think in those cases it's a little bit more difficult but I just need to do it more and also it is it is difficult with Alfie daily vlogging like I love him daily vlogging don't get me wrong but sometimes I think oh Alfie's filming today so so I don't need to film um because essentially we live together so we end up filming like the same stuff and I don't really know how interesting that is for people to watch the same day from like two different perspectives but on days where I know me and Alfie aren't together and we're doing things completely different, um, I do tend to want to vlog a bit more. I put so much pressure on myself to be like, no, today's not interesting, no one's gonna wanna see that. But you might wanna see it, so I don't know, let me know. Every day is not the same, really. Every day is so different and sometimes I forget and sometimes I put too much pressure on myself and I think, oh no, I don't wanna vlog. Just walking over the train, the railways. Have you ever been here before? No, <laughs> I actually haven't ever been from yes, this train. No, I haven't. Oh I've God. never been to this train station. <laughs> this is the London Road train station. I'm I'm assuming this is like a really cute one with like... Mm -hmm. This is where we used to come like... Oh, this doesn't even look real. No, it's a teeny bit white. Also, I'm slightly regretting wearing these boots now. They're large. The heel was bigger than I thought it would be. Pop, I'm not sure I can do this, it's packed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Train. I won. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Get out me money. Oh my God. My, oh, oh, I see, I've got small hands <laughs> and I struggled with that. Oh. Okay, so. We've Tickets. Got Lewis to London Road, London Road to Lewis. Perfect. Two part return. Look, Let's go back over, over the bridge. The oh, there's platform two over there. I thought it's the next one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> excited for your adventure. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Do you feel like you're taking like your grandma on a, day, on a day trip? <laughs> a little day trip out. <laughs> Oh, this is the way out. Oh, have you got my ticket? I had to give it to Poppy because 
We've got a really bad habit of losing our tickets. We're both terrible. Uh, out. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, sorry. sorry. Okay, let's get out. Super drug loves. Oh look, there's me. Oh, what great promo. <laughs> Actually guys, Zoella Beauty is almost at a million followers. I know. So if you haven't yet followed Zoella Beauty on Instagram, go and do it now because it's so close to a million. How cool is that? Yay! And all the candles and diffusers. <gasps> Look, they've got some gingerbread village left in here. We've come here to, what's it called, Pop? Needle, some needle something. How do we get in? Oh my God, it's so cute. This is my hot chocolate and Poppy's gone for, God, yours is half gone. <laughs> I was just laughing, I downed it. What was it? A chai latte and an apple juice and it's called Needle Maker Cafe. It's really cute. Chin chin. We found the plant of dreams. It looks fake. Uh oh. Bless you. <laughs> it's cool. Fishbone cactus. Oh my god, that's a cute little Valentine's present. How sweet. Oh. This shop is like what dreams are made of. Look at these. I love so we finished up our drinks. I don't know why I look very blonde today. I thought you looked blonde. I think you look really blonde today I think as it's well. Because our hair's growing out, so the darker yeah. on top makes it look more extreme. Yeah, I think so. Um, and the shops that they had in there were beautiful. Basically, we, ba yeah, basically we realised coming on the train was fun, but not very practical because I want to buy everything and I can't because we can't carry it back on the train, so. Yeah, yeah, basically all I bought is some cards because it's all I can carry. But now, yeah, this shop looks so cute. We're in the cutest baby shop. Oh my God. And neither of us have a baby. <laughs> It's so cute. Look at this. Look at that. Like, hold it up. Like, how tiny it is. I would so wear that. If that was like in my size, I would definitely get that. Oh my god. It's just so cute. The little dungarees. Like, even this is the cutest little mobile I have ever seen. Look at that. Okay. Well. <laughs> One day pop. If any of you are in Lewis and you have baby things to buy, you need to go in here. It's called the Little Natural Company and it is so cute. Like that's like the cutest baby clothes I've ever yeah. seen in my life. Oh, I know, I was like, I really hope it's like when we actually have kids, I really hope that shop's still there. <laughs> in 10 years yeah, time. Yeah, in 10 years time. Alfie days. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. Okay, me and Poppy have decided to do a little photo shoot down this cute little lane. So that's, that's, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. <laughs> I'm gonna put this here. Outfit post 101. Find a nice backdrop. Pretend you're cool. <laughs> oh. train station now and I just bought myself a really cute little bunch of flowers aren't they pretty trains I feel like train stations always have the best florists 
think that's because of all the people like going to see their loved ones. Mm -hmm. Although the bag's like, I was like, oh, can I have a bag? And she was like, oh, I don't think they'll fit. And I was like, it's okay, but I just like to have a handle. <laughs> so one. I'm just holding one handle. Just the one handle. And we only have to wait like seven minutes, even though it's really cold and Poppy's like so desperate to sit down. So cute. <laughs> Poppy just took some pictures of me and I swear to god, I've, my fingers, look at my fingers. <laughs> it's because like they're sausage. really cold. <laughs> and what's happening here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why are they swollen? Why don't know, it's just that. <laughs> no, it's not swollen. Your hands are tiny. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. Where's They're really cool though, because it's like portrait mode on the iPhone 7 Plus. If any of you have... Oh, that's nicer, without the hands. I was like, maybe if I get the hands in and now I see why you were cropping my hands out. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. The, if you have the iPhone 7 Plus, then you'll know about portrait mode, but it's essentially just like the best thing that's ever happened. I love it. My hands are free. My hands are so cold. This is the thing. I thought hands swelled up when they were hot. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently not. I was like, I've got sausage fingers and I'm, I've got the smallest, skinniest little hands, but for some reason <laughs> they look like they ballooned. <laughs> oh God. I'm home now, back with this little squidge. With this little cutie patootie. What did you do while I was gone? What did you get up to? Did you have all your mates round? In secret? I love that she does that with her head so much. It's like she knows what I'm saying. Hello, gorgeous girl. I missed you too. Yes, and I'm not going to leave you again now. Are you sniffing my knee? <laughs> She's like, oh, you smell like the train. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I thought I would show you some of the cards that I bought in the little card shop. We've got have a crazy amazing birthday because I have this little stash of cards so that whenever it's someone's birthday I always have one to give someone so I keep all my favourites. Have a really great birthday. <laughs> this one I bought just to give to Alfie. It says you're a huge sack of dicks but I like you. Um, with various different penis doodles. This is kind of our sense of humor, so I thought he would like that. Kind of hope he doesn't see this vlog because then he'll see it. And then I've got Be a Flamingo in a World Full of Pigeons, which is so cute. So yeah, those are my cards. Some more cute than others, <laughs> depending on your sense of humor. This now is like my favorite time of the evening and it's when it gets to about like half four, five and it starts to get a little bit darker and I go and light all the candles that I have in my house, which as you guys can imagine is quite a lot of candles. But this is where I feel like my house kind of goes from like daytime to evening and I just love how cozy it feels with candles lit. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Look who's there next to my little coffee machine. Me. Oh, I miss you, Mark. I miss you. I can see myself in the lens. Can you actually? Yeah. Oh, my God. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Speaking to Mark on FaceTime. Got a pizza in the oven. Oh, it's all happening. I know. A pizza. A deep pan cheese and tomato. <sighs> Can't beat it for a bit of a snack. Guess what I had the other day? What? Saturday night I had McDonald's <gasps> and then peace out on Sunday. <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous. Stuff crust, meat feast. Oh, God. So good. It's just got to be done sometimes. Because we have a couple of very ripe bananas. Exhibit A. I've decided to make a banana loaf. So join me in making a banana loaf. I literally just googled banana loaf recipe and something's come up saying easy banana cake on all recipes um, and what you will need is 125 grams of butter, 150 grams of caster sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one egg, 
two very ripe bananas mashed, 190 grams of self-raising flour and 60 millilitres of milk. And if you're lazy, a KitchenAid. Whoop! I'm also going to put some white chocolate chips into my banana loaf because it's freaking delicious. And I am going to put a sprinkling of demerara sugar on the top because when it cooks in the oven it makes it really crispy and sugary and gives it like a bit of a crust and it's amazing. So normal banana loaf recipe with some very sweet additives but I promise you they taste amazing. I've had my oven preheated on 170 degrees centigrade or Celsius and now in goes my banana loaf for around 45 minutes. I actually make this quite often because we always get left with bananas and I don't like throwing them away because banana cake is so effing delicious. Time to clear up. Do you remember that pile of clothes I had to put away earlier? I'm still here. It hasn't magically put itself away, which I was kind of hoping it would. No, it's just uh, some bits I've washed and some new bits that I need to put away, but my wardrobe is a mess. So it's like, do I clear the wardrobe and then put the things away or put the things away where they're probably not going to be of much use to me? Because clearing out the wardrobe is going to take me a while. Ooh, we all know what's going to happen. I'm going to put this pile here like the other little piles I've made. I'm such a pile maker and it's so unhelpful to myself. I always just like make little piles like, oh, here's a pile of things I need to move to put here. Here's a pile of things I need to put there. Do I move the piles? No. I'm really sorry if the camera's clicking. Oh, this G7X is becoming loose on the back. The screen is becoming loose. So when I flip it up, it like rattles and it's really annoying. And I need a screwdriver or something to screw it back in, but... Oh, normally Alfie does those things. Oh, and Alfie's not here, so I might attempt it, but I might also break it, so I don't know. I've just put my pyjamas on and it's about, what's the time? It's half six and I've put my pyjamas on because I can and I don't have any plans this evening like I would have had any plans anyway. We all know I don't really get up to much in the evenings. I am having a pyjama party and I'm obsessed with these pyjamas. These are actually from ASOS. My house smells incredible. If I could let you smell what my house smells like right now, I so would. I think you'd really enjoy it. It smells amazing. There's like a secret part of me that hopes Alfie like walks in through the door after a day of like working on his van to like the amazing smell of banana bread to be like, oh my God, girlfriend goals. But in reality, he will get back at like midnight and roll into bed and not even realize I've made a banana loaf. 
<laughs> I'm joking, he would love it. I just fixed my camera screen. I'm so like impressed with myself. I mean, all I had to do was use a teeny tiny screwdriver, but still, I did it. And I just checked on the banana loaf and it's not quite done yet. It just needs a little bit longer. I stuck a knife in it and it came out very wet. So it's been around 44 minutes because it still has a minute left. So I think I'm gonna do like another five. I feel like with banana bread, you have to just kind of play it by ear. It really depends on how big your tin is and how much mixture you have. Oh God, I need to get some bloody oven mitts. <gasps> I mean, that's come out clean. Yeah, we have a cake, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh! Okay, so if you're planning on baking this after watching this vlog, just know that it was more like 50 minutes rather than 45. So I've got my banana loaf, which I didn't let cool down before I took it out of the tin, so it's a bit like fluffy. Um, and I'm about to watch a program called The More Side. And I'm also going to do some bloggy stuff. Come on then. And Nala wants to jump up. You can do it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> She's looking at me like, please just pick me up. Yay. Uh, no, she's gone straight for the cake. Okay, I've taken off my makeup and I thought I would end the vlog here. I'm just putting on some hand cream. This is the most intense hand cream I've ever used. It's the L'Occitane 25% Shea Butter. Very dry skin hand balm. It's like, look at it. It's so intense. It's like a blob. I really hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog today. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you have. And I will see you again very, very soon. I've got Call the Midwife on, which is like one of my favourite things to watch in the evenings ever because it just makes me feel so happy and so like nostalgic and cosy. And I'll see you very soon, guys. Bye!